Nepal have been experiencing you know, the political shift for a long time. As I said in the conference, I have worked here in the Kingdom of Nepal. Then I came back to Nepal after 12 years. So, uh, still, you know, the political you know, the instability still is ongoing. It means that uh, governance for the development of Nepal uh, is not such, you know, matured. So, anyhow, this country should be developed. Now, who will initiate and who will, you know, drive the engine of development? In the long run, your government should do that. But until your government stabilized, I think that the private sector can play the most significant role in, you know, the changing this country. Uh, many people in the world uh, know the Samsung, LG, Hyundai, Kia, you know, such a, you know, the huge com global companies uh, from Korea. But uh, during the, the even 1970s, at that time we didn't have the, uh, any significant company like that. So who made that, you know, those companies? Government. Uh, government provided the, the business you know, company with foundation uh, to be grown. I think Nepal should also concentrate on the first role of the government to nurture those you know, the business and companies. The government should do good policy making or good business friendly environment. And yeah, it should be done by government without it. How can the, you know, the company can compete with the, the Samsung, LG, Hyundai. We are concentrating our the assistance on the four strategic you know, field, uh, education and health and uh, uh, rural development and energy. Especially Koika uh, is uh, focusing on the, the health and education and the rural development. Tourism, of course, tourism. I think it. Uh, uh, you have, you know, one. Of, I think one of the biggest, you know, country which have abundant tourism asset, right? Himalayas and Lumbinis, and and the, by developing those asset, people should bring the money into this country. That might be realistic approaches. So another thing is that I think Nepal can be an attractive the country to invest because. Uh, you have very nice, you know, human resources, mm -hmm. and human resources are quite, you know, cheaper than any other countries. So uh, instead of sending your young people to a different country, instead let them, yeah, let them work here. But to do that, you should attract uh, those, you know, factory uh, industries uh, which are discarded by the uh, the other countries. So you should see that, uh, you know, movement of of the you know industry around the world. Many Nepali returnee from the the uh, foreign country like Korea, Singapore, they say, okay, we have money, we have we have run some technique, but in Nepal it's useless. No place to invest, no place to work with their you know technology. Why not the shoes made in Nepal? Why not shoes a simple commodity made in Nepal? It's, it's possible. You have money, huge remittances are coming. You should combine the money and technology, also channel those resources into more productive, you know, investment the way, right? You, you shouldn't say, Kepani Chena, Derecha. Problem is not combining, not channeling to the productive way.